We're doing Swedish meatballs, like the couple meatballs we are tonight on Cooking with Chuck. Tonight we are doing Swedish night. We are doing Swedish meatballs tonight. I've never made Swedish meatballs, guys. Uh, actually, I don't even know if I've ever had Swedish meatballs. I'm assuming they're like regular meatballs, like Italian or whatever. But yeah, I've never had Swedish meatballs, I don't believe. Anyway, if you're unfamiliar with what we do here, guys, every day we go online, find ourselves another different recipe from a different website. Not always different websites, but you know, they do vary. And uh, we go to the grocery store, get the stuff we need, and then we make it. Tonight we have chosen to do Swedish meatballs. Sounds like a good recipe. Could be interesting. I'm not a professional cook, guys, or anything like that. I've never made any of these recipes or anything like that. So, yeah, if you cared, just so you know. Anyway, now to this one. I got my pan heated up already. It tells us in a large skillet to heat a tablespoon of butter over medium heat and onion. Add the onions and allow them to soften for your minutes. Okay, we can do that. Grab yourself a tablespoon of butter. Chuck it in the pan. Get that all. Uh, Melt it up. We're going to add our onions. And we're going to let them cook. As it said, for three to five minutes. Our next direction is in a small bowl to add our milk to our breadcrumbs and mush it down with our fingers. And let it sit for five minutes. So that's what we're going to do over here. Add the milk. Let it soak up all the milk, the breadcrumbs. Smush it down there nicely. And we're going to let that sit for five minutes, like it says. Excellent. So, here. The milk off it. Those onions to stir around. So, they're coming along nicely with that butter. Let them cook out a little bit. Alright, so after that, we need to let the onions cool and that will sit for five minutes. So, we will be right back when we're ready to make our meatballs, guys. Welcome back, guys. Our onions have cooled. So, it's been about five minutes. Our bread mixture is good. So, now it says to add our ground beef to our onions, along with our uh, egg. Throw in there our bread mixture. Allspice, nutmeg, or vice versa. Salt and pepper. And it says it's to mix it all together, but don't overmix it. So whatever that means. I'm guessing it just means don't beat the heck out of it. But so that's what we're gonna do. Not beat the heck out of it. But mix it together a bit. Nice and gooey with that egg in there. Oh yeah. So we'll get that going. Don't mean and that keep egg. going there. Don't mean I think that's about mixed to where they were saying, I, I guess. I don't want to overmix. So then it says to make some meatballs that are about an inch and a half in diameter. It makes about 22 meatballs, they say. It's not very well mixed there. I think I'm going to mix it a little bit more. Otherwise, we have pockets of spice and we don't want that. Let's pull this back over and see if we unpocket this thing a little bit. Take a big bite and it's all allspice or something. That would be a great day. I don't think anyway. I don't personally want to do that. So I'm going to mix it up a bit more. Be a great prank for someone, though, wouldn't you? All right, so let's roll these now. Okay. I think they're supposed to put about an inch and a half, they said. So a little smaller, maybe. Ah, that's about right, I guess. About that size, I, I would assume. So I said it's supposed to make about 18 to 22 meatballs here, guys. So, before I go too far on this, I should probably heat my pan up. Okay, so there's three. And a small bowl when the onions have cooked, inch and a quarter diameter. Heat a tablespoon of butter along with the oil in a skillet uh, over medium heat. And then add the meatballs for six to nine minutes. So I'm going to heat my pan up again for a little bit, so that... Uh, it's nice and hot for when we're ready to go. And uh, I'll keep making these guys and we'll be right back. Alright guys, welcome back. 
I've got our butter and oil heated up. I've got all our meatballs done. I've ended up with 18 of them. Some of them might be a little on the large side, but it's not too bad, I don't think. So now it tells us to add them to our skillet on medium heat and cook them for about nine minutes, stirring them often. Make sure not to overcrowd the skillet too, it says, so they don't steam. So uh, that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna get them all in there. I think this skillet's gonna be big enough to hold them all without any problem anyway, so I'm not too, too concerned about it. Put them all in and make sure they're all cooked nicely and browned nicely. So, one left, big spoon, oh, sorry, two left, I guess, if I could count, and there we go, and we're going to cook those for about nine minutes or so, guys, until they're all cooked up and nicely done. So, guys, as I said before, if you like what you see, make sure you throw those thumbs up, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and anything you like to see me cook other than, like, Swedish meatballs, stuff, guys, just throw it, in, throw it in the comments, I'd love to hear from you. Anyway, we'll cook those for a bit, and we will be right back when those meatballs are ready. Alright guys, welcome back. Our meatballs are done cooking, so go pull them off. A couple of them broke, I don't know if that's normal or not, but it is here, so they did. I've got my butter on, it's uh, frying away, heating up. Tells me to add my two teaspoons of flour to the butter, and whisk it around until it's golden. So that's what I'm going to do. For a couple minutes or till it's golden, it says, so... That's the plan. So we'll whisk it around. I don't think it's going to take a couple minutes. This thing's actually rounding up quite quickly. Looking pretty good, I think. Yeah, that browned up very quickly. Nice and... Probably the butter was on for a little while, guys, so it... Uh, heated itself up. So now it tells us to add the beef stock. That's a cup and a quarter of beef stock. Right, we're supposed to give that a stir. To, I didn't believe let it simmer for a little while. Let's take a look and make sure. It says to add the remaining three tablespoons of butter in the skillet, medium low heat, sprinkle the flour and whisk for one to two minutes or until it turns golden. Slowly pour in the grease broth, I guess it was poured in a little slower. And uh, while you whisk, lower the heat, whisk in the sour cream and it completely dissolves. All right, so we'll lower the heat, get our sour cream here, we'll whisk that in until it completely dissolves. Got that all in there now, really. We'll give that a whisk around, let it dissolve. Nice and creamy. As I said, guys, I've never had some of these meatballs, so I don't really know what to expect here. It's kind of surprised with some of the ingredients. I guess this is obviously a sauce that goes over it, so that's perfect. I'm kind of looking forward to this. Obviously, everyone's heard of sweet meatballs, but as I said, I've never had them myself, so I kind of think this could be good. Alright, now it says add the garlic powder and half teaspoon of mustard and Worcestershire sauce and let come to a gentle simmer before lowering the heat. Allow sauce to thicken six to ten minutes or until it go, until it thickens. So we're gonna throw it well let's before we do that. Yeah, it's completely dissolved. Good enough. Okay, we're there. So there is our garlic powder, which I mistakenly went with ginger to start with, which would have been kind of strange. Then I read it again and it was garlic powder. There is our wish to share in the pot. And it says half a teaspoon of mustard. So it says between one and two teaspoons of mustard, so I'm gonna take a bit of the mustard. Throw it in. So I got more than half a teaspoon there, so that'll work. So we're gonna give that a whisk around. And we're gonna bring that to a simmer and then turn it down and let it sit for six minutes or so to pick it up. So that's what we're gonna do. Looking quite good. So we're gonna let that come to a simmer, and we will be right back when our sauce is thickened up, guys. Alright, welcome back guys. The meatballs are out. I've got them on the plate. They're looking fabulous. Smells fabulous. Come take a look at that. What a beautiful looking bunch of meatballs, eh? Never had Swedish meatballs before, as I said, guys. Looking forward to this. Gonna see what they taste like. Let's see what we think. Oh, it is good. 
That is good. This is, I love these international dishes, guys, because I've never had them before, and they always seem to be good. Obviously, they are because, well, they're popular. So, but I like making them. They're a lot of fun to make. I really enjoyed this one as well. Wow, that is some good stuff. Anyway, if you like what you do, guys, don't forget to throw those thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, guys. And uh, anything else you want to see me, just throw in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. This has been Cook with John. Bye for now.